Cheers. Over the years on this channel, I've talked about all different types of substances from what some would say is the most mild and safest cannabis to some of the darkest and hardest drugs known to man. I have been waiting to make this video for a while now, but I wanted to kind of have a better understanding and a better outlook, a more thought out opinion. For those who don't know, Zins, they are not tobacco. They are not snuff. These are nicotine pouches. Growing up, everything you'd always hear is that nicotine is extremely bad for you. It's dangerous. And a lot of people think that nicotine is the worst part about cigarettes and tobacco. Nicotine in and of itself is, in my opinion, the only good aspect to cigarettes and things like that. If you do your own research and look up nicotine and the studies that have been done on it, you won't find much. Yes, nicotine pouches are fairly new. From my understanding, their claim to fame was to get people off of cigarettes and off of chewing tobacco. And then the humans that we are, we were like, hey, this is kind of good by itself. I could be wrong. I really don't know the history of nicotine like that. Don't hold me to that. This is not a documentary. It was probably about a year ago that my brother introduced me to Zins. He pulled one out of his pocket while we were drinking one night. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. And honestly, I don't remember really feeling much that day. I do remember like feeling like this boost of energy and like this clarity, but because I was so drunk, it didn't really, it didn't really hit me as hard as it, as it can, as I learned that it can. It was probably a few days later that I bought my own Zins. I remember it was around Christmas time. So yeah, it had to be less than a, than a year and we were decorating the tree. And I had a Zin for the first time without drinking. And it felt as if I had just drank a, like I took a shot of lean or something like that. Like it felt like an, a, a super heavy downer. And I was like, whoa, this is completely different than what I remember it being. I can't lie, I kind of liked it though. It felt a bit overwhelming. I literally had to sit down a couple times. <laughs> but it felt really good. And I know that sounds tweaky to say, but it just felt good. And as I started doing it more, I started to see that, oh, there's a lot of different aspects to straight up nicotine. It's weird. It really can be a downer at times, and then it can be an upper at times. And that's really confusing. I will say that I started to get a little bit out of hand with it. I was getting to the point where I was probably having like seven or eight a day and I know that is nothing. And yes, I'm talking three milligrams. And yes, I know that that is nothing compared to you guys who are already typing your comments. But for me, it was because I never smoked. I never smoked cigarettes. I never smoked nicotine pens. Nicotine was a brand new thing to me. So it was a lot for me, I believe. And I'll tell you guys the full story about this another time. But back in March, in the end of March, when this happened to me, Damn! like I said, long story, I'll tell you guys soon. I was okay. All I did is end up breaking my nose and my jaw slightly. And then, you know, I was pretty messed up, but my nose is kind of still crooked. If you guys notice that and my, my, my jaw is still kind of crooked too. So don't make fun of me, but I bring that up because I have a feeling that a big reason why that happened, one of the bigger reasons that it happened, I think I was on my 10th Zin when it happened. I had, I literally just took my 10th one or so of the day. And instantly when I took, put it in, I just started feeling this wild wave of uncontrollable panic and anxiety, which led to me passing out. I bring that up because it is something that I had to really learn to be careful with and to respect. Of course, you guys know me, I had to learn the hard way. I took a big break after that. I think I didn't have another one for like a month or so, but I feel like I've gotten a firm grip on how or, or what is the correct way to use nicotine for me personally. Obviously, to reiterate, I'm not condoning, I'm not promoting, I am simply telling my story. And I've learned the best way for me to use nicotine or these Zen pouches is to be extremely sparing. I'm talking about like three or so max a day. Four would be a lot for me. Stick to three milligrams. Don't fuck with the sixes. I have a couple times here and there, but I threw those all away. Don't underestimate the nicotine effect when you're drunk because you don't really notice it. 
I have been drinking almost an entire month now and I don't plan to soon. That's another video I'll talk about soon. I guess that's really it. Just to be, to kind of respect it and not let it get too out of hand. I don't even do them every day, especially on days I'm just relaxing. I don't even really want one. I'm getting to an age or whatever it is that I can, that things are hitting me much stronger than they used to. Because these nicotine pouches are, do feel intense to me. It's, it's pretty simple for me to pace myself for the most part. I, I, I've really found that it, 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 it really is an awesome substance and something that I, I actually am grateful that I found because yeah, for those who know me, there, I have always been somebody to try different types of things. And I found that, you know, smoking weed and having a Zen are pretty safe when it comes to a lot of vices out there. It's amazing how they counterbalance each other. They've been amazing for those days where it's like, oh, I've, I smoked a little too much or, you know, and not even just the weed thing, like literally just days where I just feel down or amazing after I have lunch at work, after you have lunch, you get a bit tired. It, it really is a great thing to have when you get back to work because it gives you this boost of energy and clarity and focus. And the focus is, is I literally have a note here to talk about focus because it is amazing for what I would assume is my ADHD. <laughs> there are times where I cannot focus on one thing for shit, but if I have a Zen, I will sit there for hours and I'll wake up and I'll just all of a sudden have put in two and a half hours and not even notice. They're amazing for uh, this new diet that I'm on called the carnivore diet. Another video I'm going to have to talk to you guys about soon. It's been amazing. I'm on about two and a half weeks into it. Carnivore has been amazing for me. I feel great and I've lost weight. It's helped so much with my anxiety. I will talk to you guys more about it in a video soon, but wow, has carnivore been amazing. I say that because you can have Zins during carnivore. They're less than one gram of carbs. So you can have them if you're fasting or if you're on, a, on any sort of diet, it, it's a good um, thing to, to have, I guess. So it really has just been amazing for me. It's been net positive. Again, not promoting, not condoning, simply telling my opinion. I will say that I feel like the fact that it obviously raises the blood pressure, um, heartbeat, I feel going go, goes up when I have one. That can't be good. That, that just can't be good for you. But of course, there's tons of different things that do that. Caffeine, lots of substances, but I'm comfortable with that downside. And I guess that's it, man. On top of that, I stopped smoking weed pens, which is probably like the sixth or seventh video idea I, I've told you guys I have to talk to you about, but switching back to flowers has been amazing. Uh, anyways, I'm curious though, what are, what are your guys' opinions? Have you guys tried them? Do you hate them? Do you love them? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, man, I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Peace.